How's it going, my fellow gamers? We're about to do another episode of Palea. So I did a lot of prep work offline uh, so that we have some content today, and I'm kind of excited because it's hard for me not to accept or turn in missions because I, uh, I want to create the content, the video, right, for you all. So it's always exciting to do this video because I'm personally enjoying this game quite a bit. So as we can see in the lower right, we're ready for the onions. Um, I started learning how to uh, do the upgrade, or you already know, so I've, I wanted to pre-fill everything, so all we had to do was turn it in, um, instead of you guys watching me do this all the time. But, uh, and I think I do have all the mats, they're in there at the moment, but let's go um, harvest up the onions, because they're ready. I already did the carrots, uh, I already it's in my storage box at the moment, because I don't know if we can use them for cooking, so I didn't want to just outright eat them. So uh, there were a few plants I had um, weeds, and you can just uh, weed, weed it out, and you do get weed as a material. Uh, I sold it. I don't know what it could be used for otherwise, so uh, yeah, so I just sold it for the moment. Um, so hit that. Now we have to go to Badru to turn in this mission. And let's go ahead and store these onions. Hopefully we have space. We're running out of space. All right, perfect. We're able to get it in there. Um, as you may see, let's see, we got a six. Uh, my, oh, I can never get used to the naming, um, focus is zero. We need to get that bumped up. So one of the things I did do is here in the mail, I have quite a bit of mail. And there was just one I did. Um, was it Wrath? Well, I know it was Wrath, or the cook, the cook guy. I'm pretty sure it's Wrath. Um, anyways, uh, so I, I read that one just so that I could proceed with the game playing offline. Uh, basically gave me three recipes. Uh, so now let me show you. We can see that in here, and we can cook up one. So as you all know, we already had the mushrooms, so now we have grilled meat, grilled fish, and grilled oyster. And as you know, at the moment, fish is my way of, of uh, leveling up and getting, as you can see, focus points, and we can cook and all that. So because I did that a few times, I leveled up my cooking and leveled up my fishing. So let's go ahead and make that. And then <clears throat> over here, as you all remember, all we had to do, I think you were, I'm not sure if I had you all, you just grab the, um, the wood and just drop it in this block here and it'll auto um, turn them into planks. And so you could fill this as, I don't know how high you can go. I think it's only 99 at the moment. So I'm not sure why we have three blocks here. If you can only do 99, uh, it's not like you can do uh, quote unquote 300, um, but it is what it is for the moment until I figure that out. Maybe once we level up, we can add more, but yeah, at the moment, I don't know. And I did the same thing with the uh, bricks. So it looks like we can only stack up to 50 and not uh, 99 interesting and that should be enough to turn this in yep and there's our foundation nice let's grab oops i should have did this uh because i could have got extra xp for that so let's go to number four let's eat it and i already made a few uh, so that you don't have to watch me doing it all the time to get it all the way up to 200. Yep. So right click again. There, we're full. And I th think I already did uh, the extra fish we had on us. So yeah, that's the extra component. So what, do we, what does it want now? Harvest, house, build, timer. Okay, so it's going to take roughly eight hours until this is finished being built. That's interesting. Didn't know there was a timer on there. All right. So let's do the mail and we can talk to Ani there and turn in some missions. Uh, what I did do, because if you all remember, I was chopping things along the fence line. And when I came back this morning, it looked like everything regrew. So I'm not sure if these are like 
spawns, so they respawn over, I don't know, a day or, or 24 hour human hours or, you know, real life hours or how that's working, but it's looking like it's respawning some of the materials. I don't know if it's all of it yet. So that'll be interesting to keep an eye out. So basically I took out a lot of stone in this region here. So we'll see. Uh, what I also noticed, I thought uh, because we can turn wood into planks, I figured, or I thought planks would be that we could sell planks, you know, for a little bit of extra cash, but it seems to be the same amount as chopping wood, the wood, so without even turning them into planks, which I find a little odd, to be fair. You would think uh, you can make an extra, because it's another, how would you say, layer that it was... Yeah, I see value one. Sorry, I'm drinking to keep my voice fresh. <clears throat> Thinking that, uh, you know, you spent some time on it, that you would get a little, at least one extra gold, but it's not, and that is what it is, so. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and read our mail. Uh, Hidori. Dear Blinkish, got some new recipes in stock if you want. Oh, okay, sorry, it was Hidori, so he gave me those recipes I told you about. Um, plus being able to for oh wait no it's not him got new recipes in stock for you want to come check them out might if you want to come check them out might do you good to upgrade that pick of yours plus being able to forge a few iron bars to sell never hurt anybody's wallet yeah he's right Gina dear Blinkish I've been doing a lot of digging on the flow battery you found humans used to use these to power all sorts of things you know there's this old door under the waterfall that I've been trying to open it's just a little ways past the shrine we first met at I've tried all sorts of things to get it open maybe this battery could be the key why don't you give it a try this place used to belong to your utter to your people belong to your I don't, I don't know why I was going to say utter people uh, belong to your people after all you really should be the first one to check it out. All right, let's uh, claim it. That's Gina. Hodori, dear Blinkish, heard you set up your smelter. Good job. Esh has got this program she set up to encourage investing in Kilima's infrastructure or something. Anyways, what it means for you is a little rebate on the price of your first recipe. Keep it up. Ooh, I got 100 gold. Nice. Ashuri, Ashura. Dear Blinkish, I heard you built your first sawmill. I still remember when I made my first plank. The sides were so warped and uneven, everyone thought it was an art project. <laughs> Anyways, Eshi has this program to encourage new builders. That means you get a rebate on the cost of that sawmill recipe. I've attached it in the letter. So basically, if you all remember, I spent 100 uh, for the sawmill and 100 for the, uh, the smelter. So basically, I'm getting that money back. So that's kind of good. Uh, so let's claim that back. Ani, dear Blinkish, I was thinking if you're going to become a master bug hunter like yours truly, you're going to need a way to take some snacks on the go. I thought you might be, you might like this picnic basket, blanket and basket. I made it all by myself with my mom's help. Cool. I don't know what that does, but we'll see. Ashura, dear Blinkish, you just keep getting better and better with that axe of yours. Stop by later and I'll teach you how to build an even better one. Chain... Shani, Sha Cheyenne, Shane, dear Blinkish, how are you settling into the village? I hope you found the resident here as friendly, as welcoming as I know them all to be. There's one final resident you've yet to meet. You should have the time. You should you have the time and the will. I ask that you speak with Drag Dragon at his shrine north of the village. You may not be his child, but I'm sure he'll welcome you to kill Kilima just the same. Okay. Einar, dear Blinkish, the other day my hook caught an odd fish that I realized was not a fish at all, but rather an old leather foot encasement. I put the encasement aside and then I noticed a small bit of sun consuming life growing inside several days later. Its determination and newness to the world reminded me of you, so I gave it to Ani to deliver to you via mail. Oh! I, I don't know how many boots I pulled out of the water when I was fishing, and I just sold them because I didn't think they were <laughs> worth anything. So it looks like if we leave them out, uh, perhaps we get plants. Grow, let's see what it says, grow your own sweet leaf at home with this improvised planter. It conveniently has drainage holes. <laughs> uh, okay, didn't know that. All right, we read our mail. 
Let's go ahead and plant uh, that shoe. Um, let's just put it here by the door. There we go. For now. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Ani. Howdy! Howdy. <laughs> Good thing you're here, Blinkish. You won't believe what Najuma just told me. Did she show you your you her latest invention? Did she show you some blueprints? Did she stare at you and just say nothing? Did she tell you to leave her alone? I don't even remember the, a person called Najuma. I guess I'll go with the first one. Aww. No, she said that's top secret. Uh -huh. But then she told me this, uh, something else, something really, really cool. Yeah. She said a bug got stuck in her workshop chimney uh -huh. so she let it go and then oh. it dropped a sprout and then she planted it and it turned into a whole flower <gasps> isn't that awesome uh, a new phenomenon that's amazing i believe it when i see it that's how bugs and rugby have that's amazing i knew you think so too uh -huh. obviously i wanted to see that awesomeness for myself now juma said it was a common blue butterfly and the sprout turned to turned into a gardenia but and she said not every bug drops something, so I'm j I'm going to have to get a lot of them. Aww. It's not my fault. Butterflies are just so dang hard to catch. <laughs> so I'm personally tasking every member of the Kalima Bug Scouts with participating in this super important mission. Ah. That means you too. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I never signed up. Yes, I did. Yes. Catch as many butterflies as you can and see if they're dropping gardenia sprouts. We can do it. Bye. Okay. See ya. All right. Well, oh, Kenley's here. What's he doing here now? All right. Greetings, fair traveler. I see you've been quite busy around here. That's good. Very good. Mm. So, uh, do you have anything for me? Like what? Yeah. Like a housewarming gift, of course. Wait. Now I'm confused. I think you have it backwards. I have a half-eaten mushroom skewer. No one told me about that. I think you got it backwards. Is that now how humans do it? How strange. Well, here is Kalima. When someone new moves into the neighborhood, they go around with small gifts for their new neighbors, snacks, toys, and the like. If you ever wanted to be invited to one of my wife's dinner parties, I suggest making the rounds. Okay. Don't tell Eshe you saw me. Five, give five gifts to villagers. All right. Um, let's. Can we give any gift, or can we give <laughs> like a stone or a rock? A patchwork picnic blanket, perfect for outdoor dates or quiet times in the sun with the neighborhood insects. So does that attract insects, or I'm not quite sure. If that is just an art piece, or if it actually brings something. I'm just going to stick it here for now. Alright. Um, I think we go ahead and uh, check out the other quests, if I remember correctly. Um, skills. Yes, that one we want to go to Badru. And we can go to him. And try the battery. All right, Let's get on out. Yeah, one of the ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, isn't that a mission? I think one of the missions, if you all recall, was I had to have 500 bucks uh, coin, and I had to go to Zeki. Or I don't know if I have to go to Zeki's, but. It was a mission for Zeki, and what I did for that, uh, just so you all know, is I think I sold a citron and a couple like things I think that are not important, except for the citron, of course. But the citron alone netted me quite a lot of coin, so it, so I sold all that stuff so I can complete that mission. So let's see if um, if they give us anything, because if we look. We have almost a thousand coins, so pretty good if you ask me. Where's Badru? Oh, don't go away. That's Hodori. Badru, there he is. Uh, that's 
in town by the tavern, alright. Let me catch the guy who's going away, because he has a checkbox next to his name. I'm not sure why yet. Catch him before he uh, goes to the other map. Or he's not. He's in here. I think. Yep. Butcher. No, that's the guy I was looking for. Carrot for some seeds? <laughs> Hope you've been reaping good harvest lately. I grew some crops. Well, I'll be. Those look mighty delicious. Have this. I can't wait to see what you'll grow next. Ha! Ah. Ha! That worked a lot better this time. So we got some wheat seeds. And one thing I did learn, um, when you have this chat with Badru or chat with and whatever the NPC name is, basically it's just a friendly talk. You're not going to talk or anything. Oh, you'll see. And you gain, like, rep with that NPC. Ah. Uh trying to decide who to bet on for tonight's arm wrestling championship it's between Ashur and Sifu who do you think oh this is the first time I'm actually having to that there's a dialogue but usually I got this little symbol here a farmer who seems to be more into joking around anyways I would get a plus sign for him all right uh I don't know who Sifu is so I'll go with Ashura you're right Sifu may have the raw strength but Ashura has the technique oh I see I got two pluses this time uh, remember, Romaine calm oh, that's and Sifu. farm on. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Sifu would have won. So there I was! Howdy, I'm Sifu, the blacksmith around these parts. Woo. But you might recognize me as Sifu, the famous monster slayer. You look a little familiar. I just materialized from Mysterious Void. You're that Sifu? Wow. If you have it to brag, you're not. No, I'll go with fire. Woo. The very one. How did a famous monster hunter like me wind up in the quaint suburb, suburban hamlet such as this? Ah. Well, that's a good question. Fortunately, I have a good answer. You see, I became a mother and I realized angering dangerous beasties was, well, a little too dangerous for my young son. So I took up the position of the town blacksmith. These days, I make blades instead of wield them. Let's chat with her to get the extra bonus with her. Ah. Hodari told me you're becoming quite the miner. Good for you. If you want to start doing something with all that iron you've been finding, might I suggest upgrading your smelter? Hodori should be able to teach you how if you keep working on your skills. Right. Stay safe out there. Try the bat. Wait, we got a new. Who's this? Hassan. Oh, that's Get the hunter, I think. Blinkish, I presume. Mm. Don't act stunned that I know your name. I know everyone that goes on in this village including when someone new arrives. Mm. My name is Hassan, and I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of the woods that surround the village. Be good to the valley, and we will have no quarrel. Mm. You use nature poorly, and you'll find I know how to rid this village of, a, of all sorts of pests. I got your letter. Huh? My what? Oh, those pre-written letters City Hall had me sign? Mm. My mother is the town blacksmith. A simple bow like that is an easy supply. Oh. It takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming that bow at something like those Chapas or Cernuk. Maybe you will even manage to hit your target. Back to my business. Whoops, I thought there was more. Speak your business. Oh, just chat. Oh. What do I like to do for fun? I like to be left alone with my thoughts. I find myself to be all the company I need. Mm. Perhaps you should learn to become more comfortable with the solitude yourself. Is that all? Right. A little bit grumpy guy. All right. Hunt a choppa, hunt a sarnook. I've done those sort of before. Is that breath? Nice of you to visit. So you're becoming quite the campfire cook, but did you know you can cook things in other receptacles? And not just because, because open flames can lead to unfortunate incidences where you accidentally burn down all your sister's freshly carved furniture. <laughs> Stoves are also needed in the fine arts of crafting soup. To make the perfect vegetable soup, you'll also need a prep station. Aww. Those veggies aren't going to chop themselves after all, no matter how hard you wish they would. Oops, mm. what was I talking about? Ah. Oh, to help you along your cooking journey, I came up with some recipes for you. <laughs> Don't burn down your kitchen. It's... Okay. Ooh, it's free. Prep station and that. Okay. Purchase. I got my hands full right now. Oh, why did it? 
You can never go wrong with soup. So how's life? Hmm. I chat. How exciting. What shall we talk about in this little convo? The tete -te -te -a -te -te, this meeting of minds. Oh. If you're low on topics, might suggest soup. Gotta go. Uh, cooking Store. emergency. Purchase. There we go. And we do have gold. Cooking levels are not met. Okay. So we need to do that first. Um... What else? There's Einar, and then we'll head up to over there. Okay, Einar. We're this way. Just remembered why I came here as well, and then I have to go all the way back. Okay, it's not too far back. The back, if you all remember, um, or well, my experience in any game that has harvesting, bag space is essential, and car cargo space or bag space, whatever type of game you're playing, and storage is very important. So for 500, yeah, of course. Good. Wow, you just got more space. Keep saving to expand your bags even further. Understood. So now we have three, if you look in the lower right, three um, horizontal bag space things. Cool. We can get the bow out in case we run into one of these uh, animals, the Chapa or the Saranook. I don't even know if we should shoot it. I'm not going to. Because something tells me we shouldn't. I don't know why that is. You know, it's not like a deer type thing. Or should we? Whoop. Yeah, we want that. Oh, we got our first hit. Wow. Oh, that was something. A chopper. Oh, okay. Uh, why did it... Did it already count the Chinook that I killed a lot earlier in the game? No. Oh, only do one of the following. Okay. Can we find him real quick? Yes, we can. Let's, let's go grab him. Again, when the n nighttime comes, they tend to go to bed and whatnot, so it's the reason why I'm wanting to turn them in quickly before they start sleeping. I'm gonna guess the robot doesn't sleep, but I could be wrong. Just this once. Why have you returned? Did you think I would praise you for a job well done? It is very it is every Palin's duty to help maintain the balance of nature. In the interest of perpetuating the balance, I am obligated to give you this. Mm -hmm. Chapas are not natural to this environment. They overpopulate and destroy natural wildlife and vegetation. It is only right that you humans help before you you too begin to run wild. You may leave me alone. You may leave me alone. I'm sure any further contact can be conducted over mail. You're scaring away all the prey. Hmm. I wonder if some people actually learn or read the content, because that is the reason. Uh, yeah, let me just leave it at that. Okay, let's go to this guy real quick. Chat. Oh, I did not see you there. You have reached yet another level of fishing advancement. Congratulations on your diligent work. I can now vend you, vend, lend you a recipe involving worms. Please take. It's 500, and I've read things about this. Like this is a way to make money. But I'm going to hold on to the money for the moment. Please take a good care of the worms. Let's chat with them and get our bonus. Many animals in Paleo are nocturnal, and fish are no exception. Be sure to fish every time of the day in order to catch the greatest variety of fishes. The conversation has now ended. <laughs> Goodbye. The conversation is now, has now ended. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's check our monies. Yeah, if we were to buy it, we'd be at 26. Hmm. I mean, 500 is easy to acquire. 
Yeah, I'm here. Let's get it. Let's see what this worm thing is all about. So basically, I, I read somewhere, or I saw it. Sorry, I'm just clicking through. Oh, that was bad. I should have read it. What do you think of my adornments? They're very. Eh, let's go with they're charming. This pleases me. I shall remember you. You find my adornments charming. I must focus on my um, oneness. I read. No, I saw a YouTube video of the fastest way to make money. I probably shouldn't have watched it, to be honest, because sometimes that those content are old and things get updated. But I thought, let's let's give it a try, right? I mean, we're here to just have fun, um, not trying to do much more. Um, obviously, we could upgrade our rods and reels, but yeah. So basically, the worm farm is supposedly the quickest way or the best way, according to that YouTuber, in making money like um on the side uh, i forgot the word um you know you, you can just turn it on and go do other stuff and come back and you've earned passive passive income that's the word um <clears throat> so yeah let's uh see what that's all about let's purchase it all right we have it let's go turn in some other stuff here don't really need to do we need to hunt because I'm not sure if I have the leather I think I, I did see leather is one of the items we're gonna need for building the worm farm um, what are these arrows yeah I don't see them oh quest objective and that's the Phoenix so what's my ma magis commune with a dragon and then the waterfall, okay. So we're gonna do the dragon first. I don't know why, I always think copper is rare, and I know it's not, because <laughs> I see it all the, everywhere on this. But it's like a habit, it's like I have to find that. Dragon Shrine. That increases um, 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 I. Oh. So I gave all my money to the wrong shrine. This is the one I want to you you want to increase your your focus. Oh shoot. Oh well, next time. Let's make that a picture. I like that. That's a real cool picture. Uh, let's remove the sorry, I always say picture, I always mean thumbnail. Um, ah yes, the uh, battery and the door, so let's put that quest back on. What is this one? Finished building, we're waiting, we need to give housewarming. Catch a butterfly. What if we come across one, so let's go ahead and get that set up. Uh, blue butter, oh, blue butterfly is only during the day, so yeah. We're not going to come across one of those yet. It is almost morning, though. See, that's a moth. Ooh, that was bad. Yeah, they're worth money, so that's why I... Jeez, oh, that like, came out of the water or something? The boat? Heading the 
this way. I'm not gonna stop for anything, we're just gonna head straight there. <clears throat> anywhere you're sure to uncover some secret areas Ooh, this is nice I always like to admire the um, artwork in the full building um, I remember when I played World of Warcraft uh, I don't know it felt like too many people just ran in and out without admiring the artisticness Especially of the, what was it, Iron Forge, I think it was called? With all the runes. Can we take it? Yeah. I often pondered why the temple was built here. Of all places, I believe I finally found my answer. Flow in the raw form is so powerful, and here it has combined with the water. Together they have evolved into something else. I have to study it more to get better answers. EW. I mean, that's how we first got power to, like, uh, grind up our grain and things like this, using mills, water mills. And then, elect kind of, elect kind of a power source. And then we mimicked that. Ooh, there's a chest over there. Ooh, can I climb? I think I can jump there. I just didn't jump correctly. And then we mimic that type of uh, power with steam. No, let's play here in a sec. wanting to build another one, but I was like lazy, but if we have one that's already for us, that much better, an empty treasure chest from your travels. Okay, I saw the word travel, caught my uh, attention there. Sweet, we have one. Is there anything on the other side? Any more of these tombs? Before I, oh, here's, oh. Before I press anything. Oh. Bahari. I have come to believe this place was called the Temple of the Waves. I was sent to explore it to ensure the village in its shadow is safe. Who were these people? Why did they build such a magnificent structure only to lock it away? It took ages to acquire what was needed to open the outer door, an ancient battery of sorts, and now I am faced with yet another obstacle. This new door is covered in an ancient language, one we cannot yet understand. There is no slot for another battery. Zendrick is calling to me from the entrance. It appears our battery is failing and my time is short. Perhaps someday someone shall solve the puzzle. If you are reading this, you may be that person. Best of luck to you. The spirit of Kalina is behind you. K. Bahari. Cool. Read. The strange writing says, Knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must apply that which grows life. Knowledge grows the mind, even in times of strife. To enter here, you must apply that which 
grows life. Grows life. Seed. A seed. Maybe. Inspect. A bowl with rust on the bottom. The inscription has been worn away by time. Let me read that one more. Water. Knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must apply that which grows, which grows life. Hmm. Not a very good puzzle person, to be honest. Um, please don't tell me what the answer is. I'd like to try to figure it out myself. So, uh, yeah, no spoilers, please. Alright, let's get out of here. Food. Uh, I don't know, something tells me it has to rhyme. <laughs> I don't know why I think that. of them. Uh, let me double check. What is our inventory? Catch butterflies, solve the puzzle, finish building. That's eight hours and then gifts. Um, okay. Oh, cooking. Buy the stove recipe. Uh, buy the hearty vegetables. Oh, I didn't see that. Cool. And that's wrath, right? Oh, Gina has a question mark. See how they're sleeping? That's what I meant by, uh... It's too early in the morning. I think I had a lot of luck over here. It's still... Er oh, no, it's 1 a.m., okay. So it's only gonna be moths up in here. Yep, see? Well, I did see, um, ooh, that's a new one. Oh, it's a star, millipede, cool. All right, oh, I wanna mine it, I wanna mine it. But I'm gonna keep going, let's go to Gina. Something tells me she has a clue for us, for the riddle. Since we're kind of stuck because it, because it's night time, might as well do these quest type things. What's this? Grasshopper. The grasshopper was worth a lot. Oh no, I have no more smoke bombs. I have to make them. I think if I remember correctly, in the uh, crafting table, uh, we can make them. Sorry, hey, Gina. I was in my thoughts. I hope I didn't freak you out too much when I clammed up. Hmm. I had just never witnessed an actual human reemergence before, and this whole thing is just a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot for me, too. <laughs> huh, you're right. I guess appearing out of nowhere would be a lot scarier than just watching someone appear out of nowhere. You're an archaeologist? Uh. I wish. Right now I'm just an apprentice. I'm doing the, my thesis on human reemergence with the hopes of becoming a full scholar. So if you see any interesting artifacts that need examining, go ahead and send them my way. They might be the key to becoming a full scholar, or you know, mm. the key to your you discovering the mystery of what's happened to your people. By the way, I have that schematic thingy, and, I, and maybe Gina's the person to give it to. Ah. That second part is obviously a lot more important. Forget I said the first thing first. Tell Gina about the temple riddle. Have you heard someone names and... Cendric. Okay, let's go with the first one. <clears throat> About the riddle. Oh. You found a riddle. Puzzling. Mm. I wonder why it's there. Well, if it's a temple full of water, maybe you need something to hold water. Badru mm. could help you out. He is always watering plants, I assume. Okay, a canteen. Okay. Chat with Gina to get, you know, the bonus for her. Oh my gosh, it's night already? Mm. Looking at at the sky, I can deduce that. Yes, it's definitely night. I can't believe time's got away from me like that. Alright, have you heard of someone named Zendrick? Ah. Zendrick? Starcrusher? I didn't take you for a history buff. Zendrick Starcrusher was a Grimmelkin explorer who helped put Kalima on the map. 
He didn't build the town or anything, but he helped set up some important trade routes. Whoops, I accidentally clicked too much. He used to poke around all sorts of ruins. Every so often I find one of his journals. Oh, see this? I didn't see that before. Anyways, he used to poke around uh, journals, yes. Oh. Apparently he liked to leave his notes behind to help other explorers. Does flow mix with other elements? Oh. I read myths about unique types of flow. Outside of that, hmm. If flow is really in the water around here, it would explain a lot. Oh, oh, oh. I saw the uh, gift up here. Oh, my dragon. Oh, I didn't Fascinating. See that. Sorry to that. Filling item requests. But what does she take? Okay, let's try a moth. You know, there's not a whole lot of room in my tent for knickknacks. I'll have to pass. Okay, so we kind of have to learn what they like. Alright. Well, my time is up, everyone. Uh, this is the best place to stop anyways. We're, we did quite a bit of quests, which is cool. Learned a bit about the land, or the mysteries of this area. Uh, did some quests. So, I think we're good to go. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a, a hit that like button for me, thumbs up, whatever it's called these days. Uh, if I've earned your viewership, do please consider subscribing. And also, you can check out uh, the other games I do play. And if you're interested in any of those, you can also hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I do upload a new video, whether it's Paleo or any of the other games I do play. Until then, I'll catch you all in the next video.